hello. I said hello to you today. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. Uh, it is indeed a beautiful, indeed a beautiful, beautiful day today. And of course, I just thought I'd take a, a couple of moments, a little time out to just kind of vent and share my heart's thoughts with you all who decide to tune into my channel. Um, just a couple of things I take notice of, you know, like I always state in my, my channels, I try to uh, be around topics or people that provoke thought. Uh, I am a thought provoking person. I like to provoke a person to thought, to think hopefully you know because there's so many things around to take note of good or bad you know i think it's up to us to choose what we decide to let up in our spirits or if it within our circles you know what type of uh, energy will we join ourselves or will we choose to join ourselves with so um saying that what i do notice around here you know uh not just locally but uh worldwide uh, it is a spiritual thing, but uh, it is under attack, and I think that it's been under attack for a long time now. But I don't think that, that, that there is any type of um, sacredism, if you will, uh, in any type of uh, emotional commitment uh, where, there can, where there can be created a spiritual bond through the emotional commitment between a man and a woman now. Because it seems like the roles now are so tainted now, you know, the images of of couples, especially the black couples are so tainted now, you know, because uh, black people's images are, um, you know, they have a history of, of negative imagery, of negative uh, of lifestyle, of negative teachings, of negative reactions and negative uh, results. So, uh, you know, uh, the negative results is a thing that it seems like the black women have to deal with as well as the, the black men, too, because even though it's, it's portrayed over for an overall uh, negative view in the black uh, image, I still think that we as people can be more conscious and be more aware and be more active, uh, if nothing else, be more active within ourselves, within the choices that we make that could affect the next person negatively or positively so uh in that respect i feel like um it just seemed like people are so into the materialistic type of love you know and, and i know that there is a such thing there is a materialistic type of love you know what i'm saying where a person would be with someone for the things that they can do for that person you know uh, specifically for the materialistic gain or the financial gain that they can gain from a person but uh you know uh even if it's just a, a business venture you know there's all types of deals and arrangements you know because whether it's a uh, uh, verbal uh written uh you know um verbal written agreements uh physical agreements there there all there are all types of bonding and binding agreements so i think that um Nowadays, it seems like the men are not trying to bind themselves to something spiritually wholesome now. They're trying to bind themselves with the things of this world, which are uh, all of the things which uh, co totally contradict and go against the, the, the original design of what, a, what the role of the, the man and the woman should be, especially the man and the woman of color should be. Because, you know, uh, and I'm not, you know, I'm not just whining and uh, just picking and, 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 you know, just whining and complaining about things. I mean, these are facts that I'm stating. Anyone can look at the condition of the black men and tell that there indeed is a problem. You know, no one probably has the solution, but at least let's agree upon that there is indeed a problem, if nothing else. You know, let's stop playing blind and dumb on that situation because it still gets worse and worse and worse with us acting like it doesn't exist when it totally affects us all, even today. So I think that... um it's sad. It's disheartening that the, the that our black men are most. Uh, I don't want to say most. Uh, I believe that uh, I choose to look at the glass as being half full rather than uh, half empty. So I would like to say that it's like that in every respect of, of life. Like I don't think that all men are gay and down low. I don't think all black men are sorry. No low down lazy ass men i do not think that i don't think that all black men are cheaters i totally think a uh, totally contrary to what i've been taught because now i know better because i had to investigate and, and get to know the truth about people and the design and the, the hidden agendas that that's against 
uh, the people of color specifically. You know, so I think that that plays a, a, a vital role in the in the way that a man uh, perceives how he should should, should she, treat his lady in the role he really should play because now make no mistake about it you know we always talk about our black men are kings this and our black men are kings that but hey now if the king which is the head is not in order you cannot expect for the help meet to follow and everything uh run the smoothest plan because if the head is not in order then the whole foundation would eventually crumble especially if the head now if the head is not in order, then your help meet can't do nothing but crumble with you because that's what you would do. But I think that if we try to be a little bit more conscious, uh, be a little bit more satisfied with our given lot and stop thinking that the grass is greener on the other side, honeys, because it's not. Because believe it or not, or contrary to popular b belief, if you nurture your own green, or your own dried up yard, then I'm, I'm more than positive that if you plant positive things in within your own self, then you have no choice but to reap those positive things out of it. Because the universe is not mocked. The creator is not mocked whatsoever man uh, sells uh, so that shall he also reap, you know, and, and like man's term is that, you know, karma, what goes around comes around. That is the truth. What you put out with is exactly what you would get back in. So um, I, I would hope, I, I do hope that uh, we come together, especially as people of color, because there's so much foolishness going on within our people that we cannot afford. You know, I don't see the longevity in the communities for relationships that we really need. We need those foundations to give the youth and other people who, you know, may not have any type of uh, hope as far as anything. You know, give them a little hope. And I'm not saying everything is going to be perfect, but, you know, sometimes and sometimes you cannot work it out. But if it's workable, I think you should go for it. But I just think that um, at the end of the day, I said all that to say at the end of the day, summing it all up. The bottom line is this. That men, you need to learn how to love your woman like you shine your tires on your car. You know what I'm saying? Like you like like you put in all of your, your, your desires and all those things like that. And make no mistake about it. Let's be real. We know we need those things. But is that where your heart is? Because where your heart is, your mind will follow. You know that, don't you? So I'm just saying if you, you know, uh, you know, it's time for the men to come on and be in the position of leadership for their households. Women need that. We have a lack of that, and that is a big thing that we need. We need the men to come on and take your rightful, rightful positions. You know, women shouldn't be trying to act like they're the man and a woman. That's, that's a lie. She bleeds every month. Um, make no mistake about that. So, uh, you know, and, and, and we're not trying to be hard on our men. We got good men out there. We do have good kings. We have very good men, but we need our men to step up to the plate and to start admiring your queen for the queen that she is to you now. Because like James Brown, say you know this 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 is a man's world make no mistake about it I, I i give you that this is indeed a man's world but hey guess what it wouldn't be nothing without the help and the comforts and the nurturingness <laughs> i just created a word of a woman so make no mistake about it y'all need each other so let's come on together y'all man and woman let's come on together and just be happy in these last days because it's summing up Something is about to happen, whether it be, you know, I mean, I can't say that it's going to be good or bad. I guess your reality is what you make it. So I guess I'm going to encourage us to uh, continue to think upon things that bring a good report and to make our reality very positive because it takes the same energy to think negative as it does positive. So. I encourage you to constantly ponder on the best ways you can constantly feed the spiritual man on the inside of you because that is the only man that is indeed eternal. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I ask that you please leave me a comment. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.